This video is really a supplemental video to the one I did a few months ago telling my story about my hip osteoarthritis and how I went about healing and curing it without having a hip replacement, even though the doctors and surgeons had recommended a hip replacement. I made a video about my journey because I thought it was really interesting to share and thousands and th hundreds of thousands of people have watched it. I've had enormous feedback, incredible responses from people who have done the same thing even before I did it and more who have watched my video and then since are now well on their way to recovery. So it's an amazing it's been it's been it's been an amazing phenomenon, but understandably, a lot of people asked in comments below that video to see my x-rays. Um, so I loaded the x-rays to the community tab in my channel here on YouTube, and a lot of people have gone there to look at them. But the community channel runs almost like a timeline. So the posting of the pictures has gone further and further down, and it's more and more difficult to find them. So I'm making this video to show the x-rays specifically for people who want to actually see the x-rays. But a lot of you may not have seen the original video. So I'm going to just spend a couple of minutes putting it into context so that we understand what we're looking at here. Now, I'm going to link my original video below here in the notes and also here somewhere after the video. So if you haven't seen it, don't just watch this. Please go and watch that one. Since that time, I have made more videos explaining in more detail what I did in terms of my nutrition, in terms of exercise, because at the time I didn't realize it was going to be such a big phenomenon and so many people were going to want to get information from me. So I had to make more videos, which I'm very happy to do. My x-rays are just x-rays, okay? You can't see cartilage in an x-ray. You need an MRI. An MRI, where I live, would cost me a lot of money, whereas the x-rays were free because I'm on the national medical system. But the thing about an, an x-ray of a joint, it shows you the gap between the bones and the gap is where the cartilage is. So the thickness of the gap or the absence of a gap tells you the state of your cartilage. So it's really just an illustration of what's most likely going on. Um, so here they are. Anyway, let's cut to it. This is the first one. And you can see where I've marked in a couple of places where there's bone on bone. I then went through my three month process of changing my diet, doing exercises, I recovered so well and I regained so much mobility and reduced the pain so much that I didn't bother going to for a hip replacement and after about six months I was running again. So it was fine, it was completely functional, no pain, that's cured in my book. I then had a bicycle accident <laughs> about nine months later and landed very heavily on my hip and needed x-rays to make sure it wasn't broken and it was those x-rays that showed a much improved gap in the hip joint to the point that my doctor was very confused because she couldn't understand if this was the same hip. And so they're quite illustrative of the fact that my joint has healed and the collagen layer has strengthened and, and grown and it would, would explain why I'm able to run and walk properly again. Um, now, I've also got some x-rays here from a member of the channel who has followed this protocol and is having similar results and he's kindly given me permission to use his x-rays. So here are the x-rays of another person. This is the x-ray before. And again, I've circled where you can clearly see bone on bone. And here is his second x-ray, where if you look in the same area, you can now see a gap. Again, I say, X-rays are indicative. They are not completely conclusive. It could sometimes be that the angle of the, of the picture was slightly different. And you really need an MRI to actually see the cartilage tissue. But again, the fact is he was told he needed a hip replacement. He was given a date for the hip replacement. He changed his diet. He did the exercises. He's walking many, many miles now a day, whereas before he could hardly walk 50 yards. 
so he doesn't need a hip replacement. And this is the point. Um, now, there are people who will say you can't cure cartilage. And there are people who say, well, well, you can. I say you can because I did. Let's just understand that we're talking about different things. So there's another video that I made explaining how cartilage works from a biological, as a biologist, what it's made of, what builds, what doesn't, what you can replace, what you can't replace. Because I think the argument is almost, well, it's ridiculous because people are arguing about different things. You can grow back the collagen layer of your cartilage. You cannot replace your chondrocytes or your cartilage cells if they are gone. But for them to be gone, you have to wear your joint down so much that you are in permanent excruciating pain. You have almost no movement. You certainly can't walk or sleep at night. If it's that far gone, you need a joint replacement. But you have pain and impaired mobility way before you grind away the ends of your bones to the point that you have no more chondrocytes. And so long as you still have chondrocytes, if you just have a very thin layer, you can grow back all the padding and you can get your function and your comfort, your mobility back to normal. So for what they are worth, my video, my x-rays are in this video. This isn't the video explaining the whole process. This isn't the video explaining the diet. This isn't the video explaining the exercises. This isn't the video explaining what collagen is, how collagen works and what the structure of your cartilage is. All those videos are down here. They are linked. There are also videos down here by other experts, by surgeons who explain how it works. So if you're in any doubt about any of this, please go through the notes below this video and look at those links and follow those links and then make up your own mind. You know, if you feel you need a hip replacement, I'm not going to be the one who tells you not to have a hip replacement because you know what? Maybe you do. Chances are you probably more likely don't. And if you can give yourself three months to follow the protocols outlined in these videos down here, the nutrition, the exercise, the rest, so the combination between the appropriate exercise and the appropriate rest, nutrition is about what to eat and also what not to eat. If you can do that for three months and honestly say it's made no difference, go and have a joint replacement. But if it does make a difference, do it for longer and it will continue to make a difference because it will either repair or it won't. Good luck to you if you're on the if you're on this journey. Consider joining our uh, our channel, becoming a member of the channel. There's a lot of extra content that I do on a weekly basis for members. It's much easier to communicate one on one with me if you are a member because members get preference, members comments get flagged by YouTube, and I will respond to you personally. I'll put you on a WhatsApp group. But if you don't want to do that, it's that's fine. You just watch all these videos and make your own way and. There really is hope. So good luck. Um, and please feel free to comment below. I will try to reply. I can't guarantee that I will reply because I do have a lot of comments and a lot of people to get to. This channel has grown way beyond anything I ever anticipated. I will promise to do my best to get back to you if I can. Please share this video. Um, and again, good luck on your journey and to health and to curing yourself and to being able to follow a proper diet, which will not only fix your arthritis, but will also cure you of lots of other metabolic issues. Thank you for watching.